Drew McIntyre. Don't stop. Come on, louder, louder. Chat his name. I'll join in. CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. You're such a troll, bro. Now, whenever that name is chanted, it's not about nostalgia. It doesn't upset me. It doesn't frustrate me. Whenever you chant CM Punk, it's simply in memory of. Wow, that's jacked up. Did y'all see what happened last week? Not the violence, that was poetic. Did you hear what Punk had to say? He walked out to this ring, stood right here and said, I beat Drew McIntyre in a strap match. I touched some corners, so I'm done with him and I'm gonna go fight for the world title now. Let's recap. He has screwed me out the world title three times yeah. this year. Yeah. I pinned him at SummerSlam. And just because he's the best at touching four corners in a row, he's suddenly done with me and we're moving on. I don't think so, you arrogant prick. Oh, oh wow. Well, dang, Drew. expect me to gloat about Punk and what I did last week and make some zingers but I've been talking about him since January I made him a bigger star and I have to live with that fact but I can live with that fact because I am the one that ended CM Punk's career wow. He's like, look at the smirk Enough of the past, on to the present, the future, what matters around here, me, Drew McIntyre. Yeah. Let's <laughs> talk about it. So what's first on the agenda? Uh, the world title I've been cheated out of multiple times for sure, but also this week, my first Hollywood movie comes out. Oh my gosh. The Killer's Game with Drew McIntyre and the Animal, Dave Batista. So make sure you check that out. Things are perfect, they're almost perfect. There's one loose end. I got a cover right now, and I'm afraid I got some bad news. That's Barrett's that game. You, Wade. What? Why? What do you mean? Oh, this is uncomfortable. I don't have many friends left in this world, never mind this company. You're one of my oldest friends. We go back a couple of decades. We came to this country together, lived together. We have been arrested together. Dang, really? You're the only logical voice that's fought my case. Well, Michael Cole lied to everybody, not just about how Punk was hurting me, how he was hurting our business, screwing up main event after main event. So why, when it was time for me to end him, did you step in my way? I'm not angry with you, buddy. I'm just disappointed. Wow. This is getting uncomfortable now. But if you do it again, I'm not going to be disappointed. I'm going to be angry. And I'm going to do something about it. Oh, man. what is that supposed to mean? Wait, you don't. Wait, yo. Wait, wait. Hold on, Wade, calm down, bro. Enough, 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 enough. Who's that? Oh, Drew. Adam Pierce. Drew, have you lost the plot in life so bad that now it's not about CM Punk anymore? Now, you want to fight with your friends? You want to fight with Wade Barrett? 
the voice of reason, the only one that has been whispering in your ear and keeping your head above water. Now you want to fight with him. I don't believe it. I don't think you want to fight him. I don't think you want to fight him. He don't want to fight you. Let's cut the charade. Tess, wait, I apologize for the interruption. Drew, if you would join me in the ring, I have some information you need to hear. Pierce, I was talking to my friend, man to man. You're not my friend, you're a corporate suit. You're the kind of guy that punk kisses the arse off. Dang, I got, good thing he came out. I got a little uncomfortable. Say it quick. I heard what you said about punk. Earlier today, I spoke to CM Punk. Uh-oh. And I can assure you, as much as you think you've ended him, CM Punk is not done. Specifically, Drew, CM Punk is not done with you. Look at Drew's face! Oh, where's his head? What does this mean? I don't believe you. There's not a chance after what I did last week, he wants another piece of me. But let's play hypotheticals right now since you're playing games. Let's have fun. Who would like to see Drew McIntyre fight CM Punk one more time? Yeah! Why not? You know? That is a huge if. Cheers. Call it what you want, but it has to end. After the strap match, Ow. Punk thought it was over. So did I. So mm, did they. Good. And then last week, what'd you do? You lose your mind and we're back in the fight. And the fight has to end. And it ends at bad blood. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be CM Punk and Drew McIntyre at bad blood one more time. And Drew, I can assure you of this. When it's over and it will be over, I'm going to find peace. You want to know why I'm going to find peace? I'm going to find peace because I'll know in my heart that it will be over. And it's going to be over because October, Atlanta, Georgia, bad blood. It will be CM Punk. It will be Drew McIntyre. It will be hell in a cell. Yeah! Now we're talking. Now we're talking. My boy put my boy put stank on that announcement. I like that. Scrap Daddy has, has spoken. My goodness. That's what I was hoping for. Hell in a cell. Ha ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> you know, I remember he used to always growl whenever he announced people. Hey, Undertaker! Like, dude, I, I can't wait to see that match. Hmm. Dang. That's actually a good point. Punk, Punk been in many Hell in a Cell matches. How many did he win? I can't remember. I'm going to have to do some research. But it's official. I can't wait to see it. 